here a little bit. Scoop it down just a tad bit. Okay, welcome to my channel and welcome to my book discussion and book sale. Uh, all the books that I'm going to be showing you are already on my website, uh, my Pango bookstore. You will also be able to find these same books on my eBay store. Yep, eBay store and a few of these books on my Etsy store, depending on uh, how old or vintage the books are. So, uh, yeah, so you have uh, several places to go and look for these books and so far. Um, books are actually just a part of my reselling and so far, uh, which is the reason why they're on my eBay store and some are on my Etsy store okay but i do purposely have a bookstore uh because i just want to uh make sure that you know people who are looking for uh vintage books uh historic books and things like that will be able to go and find them on my bookstore okay um we're going to get right into it and i'm going to be answering some questions as i share uh, my book knowledge and what I have of it, and so forth with some of the books that I do have here. Uh, now, these are two books, volume 15 and 16, right here. Uh, this is actually a series, but this is what I could get uh, when I went thrifting. And, um, you know, um, I used to live in Mantio, North Carolina, uh, which, you know, is close to the Outer Banks, which is a tropical nautical area. And so far, where you have a lot of boats, a lot of, um, you know, this type of stuff uh, going on uh, there and so far. So, people that are interested in boats and nautical water, nautical is water and so forth and things like that, uh, would be interested in uh, these books. It shows you a uh, history of um, sailor boats, uh, individual sailor boats, and it just gives you so much information. And so far, I'm going to share a couple of pictures um, with this and so far. Uh, you can see how old these pictures are and so far as to how bo the boats are. And also, too, they give you a guideline in this red pattern here of the actual book or ship or whatever um, that, is, that is going on. So, I mean, this book is um, for people who like that kayaking and things like that. It gives you a great history of all that uh, type of thing. And also, too, uh, kayaking and all that stuff is kind of like a sport. And, um, you know, they do have races and things like that. But uh, if you're interested in that type of stuff, you also will be interested in the history of that type of stuff so these are two books here that are good uh good read uh for that type of material okay um this is einstein uh right here this is like a biography and you see how thick it is uh the book's in great shape and all that um and uh his life and universe and things like that now, Einstein is well known. Uh, I think if you don't know who Einstein is, then I don't know. Uh, there may be a problem. But anyway, for those, you know, um, those of us who's been here for a while, <laughs> know who Einstein is. He is a well-known scientist and so far, uh, back in his day and so far. And um, this book is actually a great read. And uh, sometimes we do... Um, we do watch some shows uh, with Einstein in it, biography uh, and all that. And I was trying to just think of one of those shows that I've just seen that had Einstein who, when he um, came to America uh, and everything, and uh, he was, um, you know, leaving uh, the area or wherever he came from and so forth to America where he got there and, you know, this and that. Uh, okay, so, not a whole lot of information about Einstein, but again, you know who he is, and so far. Um, another, uh, historic book, and, uh, I like history, I like learning history, or, gla or glancing through history, and so far, uh, with the particular books, and so far, to give you, uh, an outlook on everything, and so far, 
also that you can have a conversation about pretty much anything and so far so if someone was to you know um ask me a couple questions about einstein this and that so far i could relate and say okay yeah well he's well known scientist and yada 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 say a few things fix you know make a few statements and so forth about it uh, from the movies i've seen or maybe from the you know where i glanced through that book and things like that so it's really good and every time you learn something just like every time you learn a new word you are learning something every single day and so forth. And the same thing is when you learn a little bit about these books, you learn uh, a few different words and so forth. It's just an educational uh, and you never, never, ever too old to learn. And um, I do enjoy glancing through these books, getting a couple, you know, little tidbits from these books and so forth. And also I do love to see the photos and things like that. Now, this is The World is Flat. Uh, this is the uh, national bestseller by Thomas L. Friedman. And then this is an update and expanded uh, version on The World is Flat. Okay, we all heard of that thing about the world being flat and everything and so far. We, we have known now for a long, long time the world is not flat. It is round. But anyway, I figure because we now know and have learned and known for a long, long time that the world is round and not flat, that this would be a good book to read to get into a uh, good debate on uh, still whether the world is flat or the world is round. So <laughs> I decided to pick these books up for that reason and so far. I think they are a good read. Okay. Now, we have entrepreneurs, and I say that again, that we have entrepreneurs popping up everywhere. I, myself, is a beaded jewelry designer. I have made beaded jewelry uh, in the past. I do still have a few beaded jewelry on my website. Now, I have never been able to actually do the wide jewelry and so far, uh, but I never have, you know, um, you know, wanted to do that as well. But this is a... Um, making uh, bead and wire jewelry and so far and if you're an entrepreneur and you got a lot of jewelry makers that are entrepreneurs making bangles and all kinds of beautiful bracelets necklaces earrings and uh, rings and all that so far and everything we do have a lot of entrepreneurs that's doing that kind of work if you're interested in just one particular part of that uh jewelry business and so forth this is a great book if you're interested especially wire jewelry and so forth this is a good book uh to do now bead beading jewelry is a lot easier than uh wire making wire jewelry and so forth uh as i said because i am a beaded jewelry maker myself and it's a lot easier to for me to do that and then to try to figure out the war designs and things like that. But some people do and they make really good money at doing it. And if you're in one of those people who's interested in war jewelry making and so far, you may want to get this book or one like this and so far. Whenever I want to do a project or want to learn something and this and that so far, I always go and find a book that's going to give me a lot of information about it and this and that uh, and everything so that I have all the information, you know, uh, before I actually get started and things like that because it will give you designs where to purchase your wire how to purchase your wire and it will just give you a lot of information and so forth and also give you a lot of new pictures and so forth of already existing um, wire jewelry and so forth and things like that now wire jewelry doesn't mean that you're going to get a, um, a piece of wire and just twist it around and make sure actually that is exactly what it means but when you're doing wire jewelry you can buy chains already exist and just add uh beads pendants and things like that on it and hooks and things like that on it. like this right here so uh that's what it means too so every wire piece of jewelry is not just going to be a straight wire where you're going to just bend you can buy chains uh for bracelets necklaces and earrings as well and add beads and little uh charms uh and also you know little pendants which are charms onto these 
um, chains and things like that. So um, that would be good. Now that would be something that I would be able to do, but to take a straight wire and start bending and, you know, design and so far, I would have a little bit of problem doing that. And like I said, when you want to get into that or spit specifically that type of jewelry making and so far, um, I always recommend get a book, read, learn as much as you can about that before you actually get into it. Okay, now, this is um, a gift box, a bo um, three books in a box in here, and so forth, a set. And uh, this is War at Sea, and, um, you know, because of some of the things that are happening out in the sea now with these ships and stuff being um, shot at, being sunk and if you if you listen to the news and so forth you know this is to be true and all that but also having some interest in war at sea and um and things like that uh these books here will give you uh some information and some illustration of our past history uh and things like that uh because what's going on now you know, most likely has happened um, back in history and so forth, and it'll just give you um, a um, history, uh, educational um, part about war at sea and things like that. Uh, I remember seeing the movie about the, um, gosh, mm, about when, um, I ain't going to get into that because this may sound like politics, whatever, but so I'm not going to get into that. Okay, but these books here are good to read, very educational about our past history, see at war. Uh, it gives you all the information about submarines, which is about the illustration history, submarine illustration history, um, battleships and battle cruisers and so forth and things like that. And then we have aircraft carriers and things like that all the things that we still do have today out there are uh, for war times and things like that we still do have these same particular time not these same because of course you know they updated these uh submarines battle cruisers aircraft and things like that but we do have those today and so forth and it looks like we are at sea at war um today so this is a good book to learn the history of those particular type of situations and things like that. Um, so selling books is a good thing if anyone's interested in, you know, getting started in selling books, getting a bookstore and so forth. It is fascinating and so forth. I have been asked the question, uh, you know, about getting books, about money making in books and things like that. Um, me personally, I have not made a whole lot of money in books. I've only started selling books maybe about eight months ago, maybe in another year or two, if I'm still selling books, I'll be able to answer that question a whole lot better <laughs> than I can answer it now. But yeah, I do sell books. Uh, books are still selling. Uh, books do sell a uh, little slow. Uh, so I do have a lot of other things that I am selling, so I am still grateful for every book that is sold. I'm so appreciative for every order that I get and things like that, not just the books and so far. But yeah, if you're interested in books selling and so far, uh, it's going to take a lot out of you to get started. Uh, it's going to take a, you know, and it's going to take a while for you to, um, figure out where to sell your books to, to get the, for your best marketing uh, solution and things like that because you do have to market um, selling books and things just, just like you do uh, everything else and so forth um, and everything. So books are no different and people got you got to get it out and when you are sourcing books and so forth, uh, me personally, I really just don't know um, uh, what's trending, what people want to read, 
uh, I could only assume that, you know, people like, you know, nonfiction books are, is my best guess. It's what I've been told and so forth uh, when you're sourcing books, you know, try to get as many nonfiction books as you can as opposed to fiction books. Uh, because people are interested in more in knowing how to uh, and things like that. So that's one of the reasons I grab gravitate to a lot of nonfiction and also to historic books and things like that so i hope this will help you in your book journey um you know i'm still going through my book journey and so forth and i am definitely still glad that i am still in this book journey and so forth and things like that because like i said i'm learning a lot books are selling even though they're not selling and rushing off the counter and things like that but they are still selling so i am grateful for that and I hope you join me again and check out my Pango bookstore. It is HTTPS, uh, semicolon, backslash, backslash, pangobooks.com slash bookstore slash units, E-U-N-I-C-E 261-247. And you have a good day. Bye.